hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this fourth video of stock level topic of material costing chapter we are going to solve a comprehensive problem of calculating stock levels where we have different raw materials to produce just one unit of finished good okay and many details are available and some are missing over here so it's a special problem really okay and this question is from the ICI study material practical question number four from the latest study module okay so let's begin let's understand the question first and then we'll see how to solve this let's begin now see the question over here a company uses three raw materials a b and c for a particular product for which the following data apply all right so here we have three different raw materials and then in the second column over here they have given us usage per unit of product in kgs okay so usage means what consumption in all our formulas we have been saying consumption consumption right so that's usage how are we using how much we are using the raw materials to produce just one unit of product see to create one unit of finished good they are saying we need 10 kgs of a 4 kgs of b and 6 kgs of c is it clear okay and then they have given us a reorder quantity reorder quantity means eoq economic ordering quantity okay 10000 5000 10000 right and then they have given us price per kg 10 30 15 all right and then delivery period delivery period means what in our formulas lead time yeah shipping period yeah lead time so this is given in weeks now just by looking at this you can be a little bit you know confused do we have to convert this or not okay don't worry we'll see that okay so see here minimum average and maximum and don't worry if average lead time is not given you can easily calculate isn't it 3 plus 1 that's 4 divided by 2 that's equal to 2 isn't it 4 divided by 2 that's 2 3 plus 5 that's 8 8 divided by 2 that's 4 okay easily you can calculate if minimum is missing you can calculate just by you know flipping the formula is that clear simple and then they have given you reorder level reorder level means you all know at what level you will reorder yeah you will place a new order right it's 8000 for a uh, for b it's 4750 and for c it's missing so most probably will have to calculate this all right see here the third requirement is reorder level of c fine moving on then to the next column then we have minimum level right the minimum level that is to be maintained so for a and b they have not given us so we'll have to calculate that okay we'll see see here first requirement is minimum stock level of a so we'll have to calculate and for b also we'll see you know most probably we'll have to do it okay yeah we'll see and then for c it's 2000 is that clear simple and straightforward i have completely explained you the table now what all information have been given to us all right and then here in the next para they are saying weekly production varies from 175 to 225 units averaging 200 units of the said product right in the beginning they told you that we require three different raw materials a b and c to produce a particular product particular product means they are talking about finished good right and below over here also they said that you know weekly production is 175 to 225 units and on average it's 200 units of the said product so in this line you have to understand they are not talking about raw material no 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 they are talking about the finished good the said product okay so these quantities are of finished good production weekly finished good production so see here production of finished goods minimum average and maximum okay 175 is the minimum weekly production maximum weekly production is 225 units and average they have given you 200 units but let's just say average was not given then what would you have done you would have calculated it okay it's really simple see here 175 plus 225 that's equal to 400 divided by 2 that's equal to 200 is it clear always remember if average minimum or maximum something is missing you can just flip the formula and calculate okay let's just say they had given you 175 and 200 you can calculate 225 just flip the formula is it clear right so 
this is the question and the requirement is see here minimum stock of a maximum stock of b yeah level they are asking you reorder level of c and then average stock level of a all right so now let's just begin let's just solve this question now see here let's understand how to solve this question it's really simple the first requirement is to calculate minimum stock level of a so let's do that first recall the formula of minimum level i hope you can it's really simple reorder level minus average into average average into average means average consumption into average lead time you should remember in the bracket it's always consumption into lead time you just need to remember whether it's average minimum or maximum what is it yeah so minimum level formula is what reorder level minus average consumption into average lead time is it clear yes so reorder level of a we need is it given in the question yes it's given see here reorder level 8000 kgs okay that's your reorder level so we can take that fine average consumption average consumption i have taken 2000 how did i get this 2000 i will come to that let's talk about average lead time average lead time is directly given over here see of a average lead time is 2 so just take that how did i get this 2000 see understand let's talk about the conversion also here lead time is given in weeks do we have to convert this and all let's understand in this para over here they said us that weekly production right production is always of finished good remember that they are not talking about raw materials we consume the raw materials right whenever we do production we consume the raw materials and we produce the finished good so when production word came and here also they said the said product so we understood they're talking about finished goods and here we got the weekly production of finished good and this data was given weekly it's in weekly terms and here the period is also in weeks so both are at same level so you don't need to convert okay let me explain how you will calculate this average consumption it's really simple what is average consumption average consumption means on an average how much raw material of a will be used on an average how much of raw material a will be used in the factory now the question told us that a will be used you know 10 kgs of a will be used to just produce one finished good just one unit of finished good but on an average we are talking we are talking about average consumption so on an average finished goods are produced 200 yeah 200 finished goods are produced isn't isn't it so what you have to do you have to multiply usage per unit of product into average production of finished good then only you will get average consumption of a is it clear is it clear so see here average consumption of a is equal to consumption per unit into average production so 10 is the consumption of a isn't it per unit of finished good isn't it per unit of finished good so 10 into 200 that's average production so 10 into 200 that's 2000 units okay so this data was given to us to calculate the consumptions of raw materials is it clear fine so 2000 units so 2000 will be the average consumption of a so 8000 minus 2000 into 2 that's 4000 units simple and straightforward you understood this easy right yeah so that's your minimum level of a okay minimum stock level of a is it clear right now let's just move on to the maximum level of b now see here we have the second requirement of the question maximum level of b so do you remember the maximum level formula see it's really simple first you take reorder level same like minimum level formula okay but here there is just one extra thing that is reorder quantity also you have to add fine and then minus only here also minus minus clear and then in bracket here you have to take minimum into minimum in bracket remember always it's consumption into lead time you just need to remember whether it's minimum maximum average what is it right so here it's always minimum into minimum there is a trick to remember this maximum level formula opposite minimum minimum is it clear simple so reorder level of b is given in the question as 4750 so just take that 
4750 reorder quantity is also given over here see here reorder quantity 5000 so directly you can take it minus minimum consumption is not given yeah we'll have to calculate how do we calculate that let's just see it's really simple see to produce one finished good we have to use we have to consume 4 kgs of B raw material isn't it so we have to calculate now minimum consumption so in a week minimum production of finished goods are how much 175 units so 175 into 4 is it clear this is the way you have to do it right see here consumption per unit 4 into 175 yeah consumption per unit into minimum production of finished good this is finished good and this is raw material is it clear 4 into 175 that's equal to 700 units fine so 700 we got over here and then lead time is directly given see here minimum lead time three weeks right so both of them are in weeks this is also in weeks isn't it minimum consumption we have calculated of a week and minimum lead time is also of a week right so there is no need of conversion or anything directly you can multiply and take it is that clear simple fine so 9750 we get right 4750 plus 5000 that's 9750 minus 2100 that's equal to 7650 units this is the maximum level of b is it clear simple and straightforward after this we have a requirement of reorder level of c what's reorder level formula see understand there are two formulas for reorder level okay and just to be on the safer side what most of the students do is and some of the faculties recommend that that you know calculate from both the formulas yeah it will just require some extra time but just calculate with both the formulas right so that's why i will show you you know both the formulas calculation but it's not necessary actually okay you can choose once but just to be you know 100 percent safer you can solve from both the formulas and show them okay both are right actually there will be slight variation but both are right not slight variation little bit considerable variation can also be there so see here reorder stock level formula is maximum into maximum maximum consumption into maximum lead time this is the first formula and the second formula is minimum stock level plus average into average right so see this formula is just a flip of this formula isn't it see here this is minimum level formula now first requirement we did if you just flip this formula reorder level will go over here and minimum level of you know minimum level will come over here so you can easily calculate isn't it just by flipping the formula so that's what they have done see here reorder level is equal to minimum stock level plus here it was minus now so plus it will become plus right minimum stock level plus average consumption into average lead time see here average consumption into average lead time yeah so both the formulas we'll use now and calculate this okay see here the flip formula of reorder level reorder level of c is equal to minimum level plus average into average both are average average consumption into average lead time yes so now do we have minimum level given in the formula of c yes that's the requirement isn't it we have to calculate read order level of c so minimum level of c we need to know minimum level of c is given in the question as 2000 kgs right so you will take that 2000 kgs and then we need average consumption i have taken 1200 how did i get that it's really simple see average weekly production was how much 200 units in a week finished goods on an average 200 units are produced right so 200 into 6 isn't it 6 kgs of material c is required to produce one finished good and on average in a week 200 units are produced so 200 into 6 that's 1200 is it clear see here average consumption of c 6 into 200 1200 units which means in a week on an average material c is consumed by 1200 kgs to be exact 1200 kgs 2000 plus 1200 into 3 yeah 1200 into 3 that's 3600 plus 2000 that's 5600 units so when the stock of material c will reach at 5600 units i mean kgs 
what you have to do you have to place a fresh new order is it clear simple that's the reorder level concept but now this is not enough we also need to calculate reorder level with the second formula yeah that was maximum into maximum isn't it maximum consumption into maximum lead time so let's just do that it's really simple see here or reorder level of c is equal to maximum consumption into maximum lead time now maximum lead time directly we know that from the question c maximum lead time is four weeks and maximum consumption we can easily calculate see here maximum weekly production can be 225 units right fin of finished good so we know to produce one finished good we require six kgs of material c so that's why 225 into 6 will get maximum consumption of c material okay see here maximum consumption of material c is equal to 225 into 6 that's 1350 units let's do that in calculator 225 into 6 that's equal to 1350 right and then 1350 is the maximum consumption so multiply it with the maximum lead time 1350 sorry 13 1, 3, into 4 yeah that's equal to 5400 kgs so when material c will reach at 5400 level you have to place a fresh new order for the material c is that clear yes so this is how you have to calculate the reorder level so we saw from both the methods yeah from both the formulas we can say right now after this the question is asking for average stock level so let's just see how we'll calculate average stock level let me just show you average stock level concept see we have two formulas for average stock level yeah and from both the formulas we'll have to calculate now to be on the safer side yeah i will show you both the formulas but you have to take the risk yeah if you are just going with one so it is suggested that you know solve from both the ways and show the examiner right so the first formula is minimum stock level plus half of ROQ reordering quantity and then the second formula is maximum plus minimum divide by two simple average formula okay yes so let's see how to do this it's really simple let me show you first see here average stock level is equal to minimum level plus ROQ divide by 2 half of ROQ or ROQ divided by 2 is the same thing isn't it so now minimum level of a we need right is it given in the question it's it was not given in the question but we have calculated it isn't it see it was our first requirement so it's 4000 units right so we'll take that 4000 minimum level plus ROQ divided by 2 do we have ROQ of a material a yes reordering quantity of a is 10,000 units right 10,000 kgs actually so 10,000 divided by 2 that's 5,000 plus 4,000 that's equal to 9,000 units that's the average stock level of A is it clear simple and straightforward after this next we have the simpler formula right but the calculation will be a little bit difficult I mean not difficult just a little bit lengthy average stock level of A is equal to minimum level plus maximum level divided by 2 minimum level we know it's 4000 units right 4000 units so directly we can take that but maximum level we have not calculated previously and it is also not given in the question maximum level it's not given okay so we have to calculate this yeah so let me just show you how did i calculate it it's really simple you all know the formula of maximum uh, stock level yeah what's the formula reorder level plus one extra thing will be there reordering quantity which we have to add and then in the bracket it's opposite of maximum minimum into minimum right we are, we are calculating maximum so in the bracket it will be minimum into minimum minimum consumption into minimum lead time that's how you have to remember this formula fine so reorder level is given in the question see here of material a it's 8000 and then reordering quantity is 10000 yeah of material a that's yeah 10000 so you will take that minus minimum into minimum minimum consumption into minimum lead time minimum lead time we can easily get from the question that's one week minimum consumption we have to calculate yeah 
you have to do it the same way in a week the minimum production is 175 units of finished good so just multiply that with the you know consumption of a per finished good per finished good consumption is 10 kgs of material a right 10 kgs so 10 into 10 into 175 that's equal to 1750 units right so these are the kgs yeah 1750 are the kgs that will be consumed of a to produce you know minimum quantity minimum production 175 units is that clear that's a minimum consumption of a so 8000 plus 10000 minus 1750 into 1 so 18000 yeah these two 18000 minus 1750 that's equal to 16,250. Let's just do that in calculator. 18,000 minus 1750. 16,250. And then you have to take it over here. Yeah, this is the maximum stock level, right? So 4,000 plus 16,250 divided by 2, you have to do. You will get the level. 4,000 plus 16,250. That's 20,250. Divide by 2, you will get the average stock level of a from the second formula is it clear simple and straightforward yeah you can easily do this fine it's not difficult you just have to understand everything properly yeah so yeah that's it for this video i will just take you through all the slides now so that you can take the screenshots if you want yeah let me just show you the second paper see here the second paper maximum level of b and then we calculated reorder level of c yeah, from the second formula. Yeah, then the first page. Yeah, so that's it. That's it for this video. See you in the next video. Bye.